The history of the West Nile virus dates back nearly 100 years. In 1937, scientists in the West Nile district of Uganda isolated a novel virus from a woman suffering from a fever. For decades, the illness caused by the West Nile virus was regarded as relatively mild, causing only a fever and other minor symptoms. However, after the first known epidemic occurred in Israel in the 1950s, patients with more serious manifestations like encephalitis and meningitis were increasingly recognized by doctors at the time. In 1999, public health officials right here in New York City noted a bizarre phenomenon a cluster of severe brain infections amongst people and an unusually high number of dead birds in and around the city. These officials conducted groundbreaking detective work and they were ultimately able to identify the West Nile virus. Over the next few years, the virus spread across the United States through infected mosquitoes. By 2003, the U.S. had experienced the largest outbreak to date accounting for thousands of cases of encephalitis and over 200 deaths. The West Nile virus has since become an enduring seasonal presence in American life. Today, our collective public health response is built on this history and includes educating the public on simple yet effective steps to protect themselves. The use of insect repellent, wearing long sleeves, and getting rid of standing water around the home. The story of the West Nile virus is a powerful reminder of how a localized pathogen can become a global public health challenge and why we must always stay vigilant.